different types of alien or extraterrestrial groups that are here on Earth right now. Today we are going to be talking about the oh-so-infamous Draco Reptilian. Now I've done a video in the past, it's under my galactic playlist where I talk about different ET groups on Earth right now. It was just a very brief explanation, but now I'm going to go in depth about each and every one of these species. Before I start this video, I have to put a disclaimer out. This is just for entertainment purposes only. Do not take me seriously. But you know, those of you know, know. But anyway, the Draco Reptilian. Oh, I've had a personal experience with them for about a year. See, a year ago I was in a abusive relationship with this narcissistic sociopath, psychopath, I don't know. He just really didn't have a heart. And I remember one time I was speaking to him and I think he was a little bit agitated about something and I just saw him shapeshift and I thought, that's it, I've lost my fucking mind. I saw this man shapeshift into a lizard being. And mind you, I already knew that the Draco Reptilians existed, but I just didn't know that they could exist in my reality and that there were so many of them. And now that I think about it, it really does make sense that he is a Draco Reptilian because he's also a Freemason. So, I don't know why I didn't register that as a red flag. And he's probably watching my videos right now, so hi, lizard. But anyway, when I saw him shave chipped, he literally looked like this. Seriously, like that's, that's him. That's as if they snapped a photo of him. If any of you have seen Draco Reptilians, you know what I'm talking about, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you have. You were just too afraid to speak out on it because people would make you feel crazy. You're not crazy. These little shits exist. My ex in particular stood about seven feet tall when he shapeshifted. He's, he's around six feet, so he, he grew a foot taller. And he looked like this lizard, straight up. But the difference is my ex had red spottings on his face. So the brow ridge and the cheekbone area had like little red spots, but generally the color scheme is correct. Now, reptilian is an umbrella term. Not all reptilian aliens are evil. There are good reptilian aliens called the Negas. N-E-G-A. They are a very ancient race that have been documented, I think, in ancient Africa, like thousands of years ago. But the evil ones, the ones that rule this society and are doing shitty things to humanity, they are the Draco Reptilians. There's a distinction. Now, Draco Reptilians, I've come to notice, since my spiritual awakening and since my psychic activation, I see them a lot in nightclubs where they work in the entertainment industry, you know, because they can siphon your energy this way. Draco reptilians are energy vampires. They siphon energy, they eat your energy. So any place that has a lot of energy, produces a lot of energy, you will find a Draco reptilian there. So nightclubs, concert halls, entertainment industry, Hollywood. Also, the prison system. This is where you have psychopathic guards torturing psychopathic prisoners, and they're all really just the same kind of entity torturing each other. Politicians, a lot of them. I would say a good 70% of them are Draco Reptilian. Draco Reptilians are actually the most susceptible to shape-shifting because they are ruled by their root chakra, but an unhealthy version of the root chakra. So your root chakra is the chakra that is for safety, for stability, for ambition, for drive. But if you have an unhealthy root chakra that creates fear, anxiety, fight or flight, and just constant survival mode. This is also why they say, oh, that person's living out of their reptilian brain. They're always fearful. Why do you think we have a reptilian side to our brain? Imagine constantly living in your fight or flight 24 seven. That is the life of a Draco reptilian. And my ex was the same way, constantly paranoid for no reason. So because they're always living in their fight or flight, they can shape shift very easily because they allow their emotions to consume them. And when they get fearful or when they get really angry and agitated, their morphogenetic field, is going to get weak and you will see their true form now what i mean by morphogenetic field is that you know through the study of modern physics especially quantum physics and the theory of holographic universe they are theorizing that you know nothing is truly solid i mean we pretty much knew this in, in uh, old day physics as well but the holographic universe means that everything is a hologram right nothing is truly solid so that means your form can also change and with all this talks of, oh, your higher self, you know, the spiritual community keeps saying your higher self or different versions of yourself. When you see somebody shapeshift and turn into a different entity, you're just seeing them at another vibration or another dimension. That's what they look like in their true form in another dimension. See, our perception is bound to the 3D. Well, unless you're psychic. But once you surpass the limitations of the 3D, you will see that person for what they truly are. And if you're psychic, you will see that I'm an insectoid being. Comment if you're also a part of the insectoid starseed group. 
But like I said, reptilians, they pretty much rule politics, uh, the policing system, the entertainment industry, the drug industry. I know that the spiritual community and sometimes even the mainstream media, because the mainstream media talks about these Draco reptilians. They want you to believe that they are the most powerful. They are not. The Draco reptilians are the puppets. The puppeteers are on the tippy top of the pyramid. You don't even know what those aliens are. The Draco reptilians are actually easily manipulated because they constantly live out of their fight or flight. They're actually the weakest link when it comes to the alien elite that rule this world. This is why oftentimes you look at the world stage and you're like, how are these politicians so stupid? Like, do they think we actually buy what they're saying? Yeah, because Draco reptilians for the most part are delusional. This is why a lot of the hate gets pushed onto the Draco reptilians. I mean, to be honest, they kind of deserve it. But the true evil doers are aliens that <laughs> you wouldn't even suspect. And I'll tell you right now, the true evil doers, the ones that are the most powerful are the Anunnaki. You know why? Because the media likes to feed to you that the Anunnaki are the good gods, the creator gods. Oh, they created us. They love us. They want to see our evolution. No, they are the ones that infiltrated Earth first and they have infiltrated other systems as well. We are not their first victims. The reptilians are actually fearful of the Anunnaki. The Anunnaki are the king pen. They are the most powerful in this pyramid system. The reptilians are like third or fourth rank. But enough about the Anunnaki. I will make a video of them next time. I recommend all of you guys research narcissistic personality disorder because the Draco reptilians, that is like the key to their genetics. That is how they operate 24 seven. And once you figure out their game, they're actually very, very easy to beat and to manipulate. It's actually very easy to manipulate a Draco Reptilian because they're not creative at all. All they have is one game and that's the only way that they play it. And no, I'm not saying all narcissists are Draco Reptilians, but for some reason Draco Reptilians always operate through narcissism. Now, if you don't have the psychic ability yet to see somebody shapeshift, and trust me, you don't want to see it because it will freak you out if all you've known is a certain reality, you can actually tell who's a Draco Reptilian by their eyes. Now I'm gonna be using Ted Bundy as an example. If you're psychic and you have a trained eye, you know that this man is a Draco Reptilian. Look at the eyes, they are extremely intense. It doesn't matter the color of the eyes. It's always extremely intense in stare and they always look mischievous and angry. Reptilians have what I like to call in their eyes a spark, but not a good spark. If you have weak spiritual boundaries and you make eye contact with a very dangerous Draco Reptilian, like this man here, because there are rankings to them, there are weak Draco Reptilians and there are very strong ones. If you accidentally make eye contact with this kind of person, they have very strong psychic abilities in which they will pull you into their eyes. And they could tell you the most bullshit story because they're delusional and somehow you just believe them. Because Draco Reptilians have a very special psychic power in which they can psychically manipulate you or make you feel emotions that are not naturally yours. And if it just so happens that that Draco Reptilian is conventionally attractive, there will be a strong sexual pull to that person, but it will almost feel unnatural, like you just don't understand it. But the Draco Reptilians obviously do have a weakness and that is they allow their fear and their emotions to rule them. So sooner or later, they will always expose themselves. And disclaimer, anybody could be a Draco Reptilian. This is not subjected to your ethnic background or your race. I know people like to joke around that Draco Reptilians are of a certain ethnic background, but they're not. My ex was a completely different ethnic background compared to the normal stereotypical conspiracy. I have seen all different types of people that are Draco Reptilians, from East Asian to Black. It doesn't matter. Your avatar really has nothing to do with your soul lineage or your genetic galactic lineage. If you want to know about the agenda as to why these aliens are here on Earth, what they want from humanity, and humanity's true genetic lineage because we are also all hybrids. I have written a book in which I discuss things on there that I can't say on TikTok. My book is linked in my bio and it's titled Made in God's Image. And I specifically titled that because we have to start to remember our own divinity. Stop giving your power away to these evil aliens. As cheesy as it sounds.